Let's go ahead and talk about the new feature in iOS 15 and Xcode 13, which is swipe actions. We have already seen swipe actions in UIKit. Basically, you swipe from right to left or left to right, and you will see some additional buttons in your list view row. So now you can do the same thing with Swift UI for iOS 15 and Xcode 13. I'm going to go ahead and create a list. And I'm going to use a for each because if you don't use for each, you will not get access to the swipe actions. And just for the sake of simplicity, we are just going to go ahead and run this from 1 to 20, which is simply an index, which is going from 1 to 20. And we're going to go ahead and display that particular index value. All right. Now you can actually go ahead and create swipe actions. So let's go ahead and create a very basic swipe action. And this will, will be leading. So it's going to start from the left to right. Allow full swipe. We don't really care that much about that. And now you need to return the buttons you want to display in that particular swipe action. So I'm going to go ahead and use a normal button with some sort of action and a label. Action is kind of blank. We don't really want to do anything when you press the button. And label will be dependent on the whether you have checked the item or the envelope or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and check even odd number. So index divided by 2. If it's 0, then I will return a different kind of a label, which means that the envelope has been opened. So there we go. Else, we are going to return that it is unread. Maybe we are making some sort of a mail application or something like this. All right. Okay, so let's see what is going on over here. Let's move this swipe action. Actually, the swipe action is now outside, so that's not going to work. So I'm just going to put the swipe action with the text over here, and that should be good. We were outside the bounds of the scope. Now, if I go ahead and run this, I should be able to swipe and you can see the envelope for one because one is a even number, but for two, it's open. So even, odd, even, odd. You can see so for some of them, it's open. Some of them, it's closed. Pretty cool, right? So that is basically the swipe action. Now we can create more swipe actions also. So let's go ahead and see that where we have our swipe actions right here. And we can create, let's see where it ends, right there. Sometimes it can get like a lot of stuff. So, okay. So for this swipe action, we are going to create swipe action from trailing. So it's going to be right to left. And for the content that you want to display, I'm just going to go ahead and display a button. Now, one of the things that they added for the button is the role argument. And role is basically saying that what kind of a button it it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass in destructive, which means that this button will appear as a red color. Some sort of action. We don't really care about the action right now. And some sort of a label. So in our case, we can, we can display any label that we want. I'm just going to use an image control and I'm going to display the image. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Move the extra round bracket that we have. There we go. Build it. And let's go ahead and resume it. So now this action will be flowing from, not from left to right, but it will be right to left. There we go. Pretty cool, right? And you can add more stuff to it. I mean, if you want one other button which will display something else, you can definitely go ahead and add that. So I can go over here in these swipe actions and I can add one more button. It's kind of getting out of control now, but here we go, which is going to show me a flag now. So now I have two swipe actions which are from trailing and one swipe action from the leading. All right. So these are swipe actions in iOS 15 Xcode 13.
If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. I have many different courses ranging from Core Data to Swift UI, RX Swift, MVVM Design Pattern for UI Kit, as well as MVVM Design Pattern and Swift UI, new course on GraphQL, Combine, Machine Learning, Flutter, and so much more. Check out the links in the YouTube description. Thank you so much and I hope that you enjoyed the video.